Hi everybody, Dave Winder here, and here are the headlines for today's Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. Murray State gets a big win over Tennessee Tech. They're fourth in last five games. They score in a variety of ways. They're 2-0 in the OVC. Walter Powell was a star on Saturday, and the Racers forced three turnovers. And we'll get you ready for the Racers at SEMO on Saturday, and the best calls from the voice of the Racers, Neil Bradley. The Racer Report begins right now. And that will bring us to this week's game as the 4-2 and two Racers, 2-0 two and on the OVC, go on the road to Southeast Missouri State. It's a 1 o'clock kick at Houck Stadium in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Of course, we'll have the game on the OVC Digital Network and the Racer Radio Network, but we'll also be on the Racer Television Network this week, and we're looking forward to that. As we're here now with head coach Chris Hatcher, the Racers get a big 35-24 win against Tennessee Tech coach. Uh, man, big plays up and down the lineup, defensively, special teams, offensively. You guys can really be explosive right now. We found a way to win, and that's the bottom line. We made some huge plays early in the game, and then the second half our defense came up with some big stops and some big key turnovers, um, and we just kind of cruised to victory. And, you know, we, we talked about it before the show. The first half it looked like we'd have an opportunity to blow them out of the water, mm -hmm. and then the second half it was just, hey, let's kind of hang, hang on. on. <laughs> we feel like we're in control of the game, um, but until it's over we're not going to be comfortable, and that's exactly the way the game ended. But um, all in all, complete effort. Um, we made a ton of mistakes, but I thought that our defense really rose to the occasion time and time again to help secure the victory down the stretch. Okay, so let's roll the uh, first half highlights as uh, there was a uh, threat of rain most of the day, but there was really just a few raindrops uh, late in the game that fell on it. Uh, the Racers and Tech uh, first played in the 1920s. Uh, combined, they've won over 940 games. So this is a long-time rivalry in the OVC. And, uh, Coach, you guys had the ball first. And, boy, at the first year, I was like, uh-oh, turned it over in our end. Yep, and, and Jamal Berry made two big plays on, on the day. This being that will never yeah, show up in the stat yeah. sheet. He, we, we just um, we had the right protection call. We yep. just we missed it. And um, he got a big hit on McHale. And then we end up going mm -hmm. three and out. We're forced to punt. How valuable has Stephen Mix been to you? Well, you know, he, he's been kicking the ball well. I thought the other night was probably the worst we've mm -hmm. played in punt coverage and punt kicking um, all season long. But our defense, um, they came ready to play. There's no question about it. Host of tacklers there. Um, I thought that we played the run a lot better than we have all season. Um, there you see Travis Taylor getting in on the, on the, on the fumble. And um, this guy... Um, I was really proud of this team. We haven't um, really gotten Walter uh, many looks, but we get some great blocks there. There's a great block by um, Jamal Berry, um, Pokey Harris, and then when Walter gets some separation, he knows what to do with it. 88-yard punt return, first punt return of the season for him, and that was the spark that we were looking for. Here from the upper part, Coach, you could just see, uh, you see four at the, at the immediate point when he caught the ball, you saw four blue hats on four purple hats and they held him enough for him to get going. Well, and we work that all the time, and that's really the first opportunity that we've had to, to take our technique into the game, and I'm really proud of our guys. They did a great job, and Walter uh, made a big-time play. It was awesome. Good to see Racer 1, uh, first of many trips around. Uh, so the first quarter uh, uh, ends eventually 14-0 uh, here. This was a nice dr drive that started at uh, year 43, and you, know, you had some good field position there in the first half. We did. You know, I thought our special teams, um, for the most part, other than a punt, I wasn't as, as excited about them mm -hmm. as I normally am. Um, we, we played extremely well. Um, they, were, they were a little scared to kick it to Walter. Um, there was Navarre Griffin on the catch, Jeremy Harness on the catch. So we got a good drive going. Um, this is our second possession of the game on the offensive side of the ball. Um, here's Mikael Miller does a good job of scrambling. Gets us to a fourth and short 
situation. Um, we run him again on a design quarterback run this time. Big Same old. play he scored against um, Jacksonville State last week, just to the other side. And um, on fourth and one, boy, it doesn't get any better than this. Got a huge block by 55, Kamali Matthews, a junior um, out of Atlanta, Georgia. Makes a great block. And then we come down and we're trying to run the zone behind that big offensive line. Great block by Robert Olive. Um, from here in Murray, and Dwayne Brady puts it in, and this puts us up 14 to nothing. Yep, 14 nothing uh, with 8.06 to go in the first. The two teams uh, traded uh, drives uh, with nothing going on, so we end the first quarter. Uh, Jordan Benton got the extra point there. Racers up 14 nothing. Now we're going to move ahead to 13 17 before the half, and uh, we, you know, we just talk about this big play potential. Uh, Walter Powell's the specialist of the week. I thought he probably should have been. Uh, uh, Offensive player of the week as well, but you just get the ball to him in the right place. This is the kind of thing that can happen. Oh, well, I mean, he's just so good after the catch. And here's a little um, bootleg play to the right, and good throw by McHale, and um, Walter does the rest. And um, that was just a quick strike. We had just gotten the ball um, on on a punt. They actually had a, not a very good mm -hmm. punt because they were scared to punt it to him. And um, I mean, you can just see. I mean, he breaks a tackle here, spins out of it. I mean, he's just so fast, and and, and strong, and guys yes. have a hard time catching him. And again, that was a huge play. And at this point, I really felt good. Jordan Benton comes in, um, kicks the ball. Um, Carson Byer, the holder. Christian Duncan, the snapper. And we're up 21 to nothing. And at this point, I'm hoping that we can just keep pouring it on them. But to Tech's credit, they would not allow that to happen. Yeah, they they uh, made some good plays too. Here is a pass uh, from Davis to Ziegler. That was a 13-yard play. Um, and then they eventually scored the touchdown here with 5:07 to go before the half. Now it's 21 to seven game. Uh, you go into the half up 21 to seven, and could have could have been could have had a couple of more scores in there. Yeah, we um, again offensively we just were not very consistent, um, and, and and we kept uh, making silly mistakes. And uh, you know also Walter returned another punt for a touchdown that was called back um, towards the latter part of the half. So very easily we could have gone in with a much bigger margin um, of, of, of spread against these guys. But again, they fought hard. I told you all week they were well coached. Mm -hmm. um, but we were, you know, going in 14 points um, with a lead was better than we were last that's week right. against Jacksonville State. So that's the way I look at it. Okay, so we're at the half here. The Racers against Tennessee Tech. We'll take a, a break here and show you the second half in a moment on the Racer Report with Chris Hatcher. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf no. is stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. 
Hi folks and welcome back to the Race Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher. Let's roll the tape here and take a look at the second half. And Coach, anytime a team has that ball to start the third quarter, they, they've they got designs on we're going to do something with that first possession, but you guys uh, got them stopped here right off the bat. Well, we got great, great coverage um, on the kickoff team. Their return man was very good. Actually, last year he returned a, a kickoff against us, and we've been harping all week that we needed to start the third quarter better. That's something that's plagued us all season. We come out, they get a positive play on the first mm -hmm. one, um, but we rally in there. J um, Josh Mann actually missed a tackle for no gain, uh, but he'll make up for that here in just a second. Uh, we end up getting a, um, a, a force of fumble. Number four, Manning, a senior out of LaGrange, Georgia, picks it up. All of a sudden, we're up 28 to 7, and I'm thinking, man, this is going to be, we're going to get to play a bunch of folks today. And um, <laughs> again, those guys just would not go away, but the half could not have started any better for us. Yeah, that, that was a great play. Uh, the, the official stat there was. Uh I think Anthony Hayes got credit for causing it, but there was somebody else who hit that running back uh, really hard there that made that ball pop. Yeah, well, we too. sandwiched him. And yeah. again, we played the run well, other than about three runs on the evening. We played well, and this was one of them that we didn't play good. Um, normally that comes up on cue, but we got some guys hustling. There's Darian Yavi, Corey Addison, Josh Manning all down there to let us live to, to see another day. And. Um, here, um, we, we just um, we, we got to do a better job of covering the quarterback, and that's a fundamental mistake our outside linebackers have had trouble with uh -huh. this season. But you know, we come right back. We got to get the ball to Walter, and a lot of times it's hard to when they're double covering him out there. Um, so we throw the screen for a good game. Great block on the perimeter by Dwayne Brady and Janowski Davis. We come right back with it, and watch this. I mean, How does he get out of there? I don't know, and that was a <laughs> linebacker out there, and then you could tell he's he's kind of blown, and the guy had the angle on him, yep. and, and at this point, oh, Walter, he needed some oxygen, but um, that was a great catch, great run, great blocking. Yeah, you know, with, with the day that Walter has here, uh, and we'll look at the replay here, I don't know how he got out of that pile of white shirts, but he did. Uh, at this point, he's got to be—he's got to be winded. Well, he was—he was pretty beat up. If you, you can see, if you continue yeah. to watch it, I don't know where he's, it's going to cut off. But he tells those linemen, "Look, don't jump on me. I'm too tired <laughs> to celebrate." And again, uh, it was good to see Jordan Benton come through kicking the ball well. Okay, so uh, the Racers are up there, 35-14. Uh, this is 6:16 to go in the third quarter. But then Tech moves it down the field. They kick a 38-yarder. With 3:13 to go in the third, now it's 35-17, uh, and then move ahead to uh, under a minute to go in the quarter here. And from this point forward to the end of the game, coach, I never really felt like you guys were in trouble, but I just felt like just get this thing over with. Oh, well, there's no doubt. I felt the same way. And here's a great interception by Josh Manning um, to get the ball right back to the offense. But so it was like know, interception, interception. Yeah, we had you know we play. had um, several. Um, um, opportunities to score offensively as we watch Brandon Wicks, the senior from here in Murray, make a tremendous catch, turn for a touchdown, but we get it called back um, for a block in the back, which actually occurred. But, you know, offensively, we turned the ball over two times going mm -hmm. into scoring the third quarter. And um, we just making too many silly mistakes. I mean, penalties like this that um, we didn't have to make. He was going to take it back for a touchdown. No question about it. And um, so we find ourselves up by 11 with less than a minute to go. And um, this was a really nice play um, to stop them, force fourth down. But they actually call one of our defensive linemen for a face mask on that play. So our defense, what a great goal line stand there at the end of the game um, to, to put us up by 11 points, 11-point 11 victory over a good Tennessee Tech team, um, especially coming off that win over Jacksonville State that was so emotional the week before. Really proud of our resolve, really proud of our team to find a way to win one more time. Well, there you uh, see some of the uh, the totals from this game as uh, the racers ended up uh, out gaining Tech 4-11 to 363. The coach, the big thing I look back on is you forced another three turnovers. Now, you turned it over three times yourself, but your defense has really become a turnover machine. Well, we do a good job of practicing. We've got a lot of eyes to the ball. Coach mm -hmm. Thorell's brought that philosophy for us. The biggest thing defensively was we played the run much better than we have weeks um, prior to this game. That was the difference in the game. Yeah, uh, the racers... Uh, 
holding Tech to 152 yards rushing. So we'll take another break here on the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. When we come back, we'll hear from Josh Manning and also Walter Powell next on the Racer Report. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Enough of this golf already. I'm with you to go. Golf You're stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. It's summer. Let's hit the beach. Mom? You need a Pepsi. Ooh. Yeah. Let's have some fun. Ooh, all right. <laughs> summer time is Pepsi time. You got to work on that tan, bro. Hi, everybody. Dave Winder here on the Race Report. Head coach Chris Hatcher will join us in just a moment. But it was a big day on Saturday as Josh Manning was the OVC Defensive Player of the Year for his efforts in the win over Tennessee Tech. And Walter Powell was the OVC Specialist of the Week. Josh is a senior from LaGrange, Georgia, and Powell a senior from St. Louis, Missouri. We had a chance to catch up with these two seniors after the Racers moved their OVC record to 2-0. I mean, our goal is to get better and better every week, you know, get rid of our mistakes, get rid of all the penalties, you know, and come out and pretty much dominate whoever comes up next. So, And also just uh, we're, all, we're on the right track to win the OVC, so we just got to keep playing intense each game so we can just uh, win at OVC. Good words there from Manning and Powell, your defensive uh, player of the week in the OVC and the specialists, and also Mikhail Miller was the OVC newcomer this week, so the Racers had three of the four uh, weekly awards in the OVC. Uh, good leadership from those two guys there. Well, both of those guys have, have, have earned the right to, to play well on Saturday. They work extremely hard. Um, I thought both of them had great games. I thought that Mikael Miller actually had the best game he's had all season, even though he did turn the ball over twice. I thought that he's, he's starting to come a little bit, and maybe we can do some more things with him. But again, it goes back to the word we talked about from day one is consistency in all phases of the game. Still, we have not played a complete game um, up to my satisfaction yet. Um, but, but we're getting closer, but the results are coming now, and our guys can see that. They're believing. Um, we just got to keep it up, Dave. Well, and it's, it's about repetition and attention to detail. That's what you hope to... Uh, work harder on this week, getting up and ready for SEMA. Well, we do, and our third down conversion on offense has not been very good. We're making too many um, silly mistakes as far as penalties go on both sides of the ball. Um, defensively, though, we're doing better this game getting off the field. Um, so maybe we can make those improvements this week as we prepare for another conference ball game. Okay, so when we come back here next on the Racer Report, we'll check out the OVC standings. The Racers are at the top of that. And we'll talk about those big plays and how they help the Racers. We'll do that next on the Racer Report. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, 
the Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. Hey, ladies. Ah. Enjoying the film? Of course not. Because this is our movie! And Dr. Pepper 10 is our soda. It's only 10 manly calories, but with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. It's what guys want, like this. Catchphrase. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. in top of the key. Six seconds to go to three. Yeah. Enough of this golf already. I'm watching the golf. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Racer Report. That coach Chris Hatcher. Dave Winder here as the Racers had a big victory on Saturday against Tennessee Tech 35-24. So then you take a look at the standings now, Coach, and the Racers are right there, 2-0, and all, along with Tennessee State, who uh, knocked off SEMO at home in Nashville on Saturday night. Eastern Illinois had the week off. And then Jacksonville won at UT Martin, so both of those teams have one loss. And then it's Austin P. Tech and SEMO after that. Uh, so as we get into it here, Coach, uh, Southeast Missouri State is your next challenge. Got to get ready for a good ball club on their home field on Saturday. Well, yeah, it's it's very difficult conference. There's no question about it. Just the um, everybody's about the same. Uh, well, maybe a couple teams a little bit head and shoulders right. athletically above others, but we're in a we're in a good spot. I mean, we've played two conference games. We've won both of them. Um, we're kind of in unfamiliar territory. We talked about that, you know, on, on, at the break. Um, you know, we're we're sitting at the top of the standards, but the way you got to approach it each week is it's just another faceless opponent. It's just another week that you have to prepare playing SEMO this week the biggest game of the season for us and that's how we've approached each and every week and our guys have done a good job with that. You know, you look at SEMO they haven't had a great season defensively though they're one of the better defenses in the conference and it's a team that we have um, we've been, very, I mean, all our games have been come down to the wire against them for the past three seasons. Last year it was a, a was it a field goal or extra point off the upright? That... Yep and, and you know then we had to return a kickoff in the last right. minute of the game right. to beat them last season and so going there, we got to travel well. Uh, it's never easy going on the road in this conference. Um, so this is a, it's just a big game. And, and right now we're a very beat-up football team. You know, this will be the seventh game we played in a row. Um, and we got to do a good job of managing our guys. we got a couple guys, especially on the lines, that are pretty beat up. And we don't have a whole lot of depth. So we got to continue to work, manage prepare like we're playing the biggest game of the year as we go into this week versus SEMO. Okay, about a minute before we need to take a break, but uh, Walter Powell, we're going to just take a look again at, at the big plays this guy makes. Um, is there anybody uh, in all of college football right now that has that creates the, the kind of buzz that Walter creates? I mean, when, uh, when the other team is punting, it's like Mark McGuire taking batting practice. I want to watch. <laughs> well, there's no I question. I want to see what the guy's going to do. Well, when he, he gets the ball in his hands, he's special, <laughs> and everybody on our team knows it, and everybody mm -hmm. that turns the tape everybody on knows it. Everybody in the stands it. knows it, too. Um, you know, the difficult thing is that it's just very hard to get him the ball as many times as we'd like to because he is a wide receiver. So we're manufacturing some different ways to get him the football, um, but he is. He's very explosive hard worker and we he's got to continue to make plays for this team in order for us right. to continue to win okay we'll take our final break here in the racer report and come back and wrap it up and here are the uh, best calls of the week for the voice of the racers we'll do that next on the racer report it's enough of this golf already i'm watching the golf golf no. stupid you're stupid boys settle down at time warner cable 
Any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. We're back here in the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher as we wrap it up. The Racers going to Southeast Missouri State on Saturday, 1 o'clock kick at Houck Stadium, and then back at home the next weekend for homecoming here at Murray State. The coach, uh, big ball game on Saturday. Have a good week of practice. Well, I hope we do. And I, I think our guys have, have bought into that. You, um, victory loves preparation is what I like to tell mm -hmm. them all the time. And we've been preparing well. We prepared well for Tennessee Tech. we got to do the same. But um, we got to just do a good job um, this week of um, continuing to tackle better, work those fundamentals, and then offensively get some consistency and be able to get in rhythm um, against this this SEMO team that's going to present right. a big challenge. And then uh, hopefully uh, you know get some guys back. Well, we need that, that too. No question. Too. Okay. Well, we hope to see you at Cape Girardeau on Saturday for uh, Murray State football against Southeast Missouri State. Speaking for head coach Chris Hatcher. Thanks, coach. Appreciate Thank you, it. Dave. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report. Now here's the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. Attack, one of the top teams in the nation in net punting. Zincini boots this one. Kind of an end over end wobbler taken at the 12 by Powell. Wants to run it. Has to room across the 20. Goes far sideline. A lot of room. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Has to beat the punter, and he does. Up the sideline. 20, 15, 10. He's gone for the touchdown. No flags on the play. Great job by Powell that time. Last week and another big run there. So it's first in goal from the five. Hand off to Brady. Right up the middle for the touchdown. And it's 13. Last done. And he just does a wonderful job. Snap back. It goes to Mikhail Miller. Throws right side. It's caught at the 42. Out to the 30. Powell breaks a tackle in another 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. He's gone. My goodness. There is no way you can break that many tackles in a college football game, but he just did it. Unbelievable. You cannot shoulder tackle Walter Powell. Anor in. He gets the call right up the middle. Fumbles of the ball. Racers are going to pick it up at the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Murray State. Josh Manning on the fumble return for the score. Nice job by Manning. He picked that one up. I tell you what, a lot of times they tell you just to fall on it, but he was able to pick it up, bend over, got a nice grab on it, and took it in for the touchdown. The 13. Snap to Miller again. Short side of the field. Caught at the 40. And a break tackle by Powell. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. I don't believe it. He Powell, did it again. Powell goes 59 yards for the Racers. And again, that same defensive coach is just throwing his hat on the ground. And he is so upset with his defensive back.